Welcome to the chapter Cell Its Structure and Functions. This slide presents the overview of the chapter. Learning Objectives By the end of this chapter, you will be able to Understand the importance of cell Explain about the cell membrane and cell wall Describe the nucleus Differentiate between protoplasm and cytoplasm Illustrate the important cell organelles Explain the origin of cells Introduction Before entering into the chapter, follow the instructions shown on the screen. Click each tab to know more. In lower classes, we learned that cell is the structural and functional unit of all living organisms. Every living organism is made up of cells, whether they are unicellular or multicellular organisms. Unicellular organisms have different cell structures when compared to multicellular organisms and also plant cells have different structures when compared to animal cells. Example, onion cells are in a rectangular shape while cheek cells are circular in shape. When a cell is observed under a compound microscope, some parts like cytoplasm, cell wall, nucleus, mitochondria and chloroplast are observed. When the same cell is observed under electronic microscope, some other structures are visible. Do you know? What are the different parts of the plant cell and animal cell? What are the important cell organelles? Do you think that cells are flat structures? Where do the cells come from? What common features do you see in plant and animal cells? Let us try to answer these questions and learn more about the structure of a cell and its functions. Now, let us study about the cell. All the organelles shown in the typical plant or animal cell will not exist in every cell. For example, chloroplasts are always shown in the plant cell, but all plants do not contain chloroplasts. Chloroplasts are mostly found in the cells of green leaves, stems, etc. Typical cell provides a way to study about different cells. Now, let us study about different parts of the plant. First, let us learn about cell membrane or plasma membrane. The animal cell is covered with a layer called cell membrane. The plant cell is also covered by the cell membrane. But this cell membrane is in turn covered by another layer called cell wall. To understand and absorb the cell wall, let us perform an activity. Here, let us perform an activity to absorb the cell membrane in real leaf. Click each tab to know more. Take a real leaf and break it to take out a peel. Take a permanent slide. Place this peel on a slide and put a drop of water on it. Next, cover it with a cover slip. Place the permanent slide mount under microscope and absorb the light portion of a leaf under it. It is observed that the leaf peel contains green-colored granules termed as chloroplasts. 
These chloroplasts contain chlorophyll which helps in the process of photosynthesis. Take concentrated salt solution. Now add one or two drops of concentrated salt solution on the leaf peel. Leave it aside for 5 to 10 minutes. Cover the slide with cover slip and place it under microscope. Next, observe the changes under microscope. It is observed that the water present in rio leaf comes out which results in shrinking of cytoplasm and cell membrane. From this activity, we learn that when a salt solution is poured over a peel of rio leaf, the water present inside the rio leaf comes out. This leads to the shrinking of cytoplasm along with the cell boundary. The outer boundary of colored area is called cell membrane. This cell membrane is separated from the cell wall. Cell membrane is flexible and mainly consists of lipids and proteins. Cell membrane is the outermost layer of the cell structure. It separates cytoplasm from external environment. This is also called plasma membrane. Functions of the cell membrane. It defines the size and shape of the cell. It encloses the cytoplasm and protects it from external environment. The cell membrane plays a vital role in maintaining the balance of various substances inside the cell body. The exchange of substances through the membrane happens selectively. Hence, this membrane is termed as selective permeable membrane. This important characteristic of the membrane helps in controlling the exchange of substances between the cell and its external environment. Now, let us study about the other important extra layer of the plant cell called the cell wall. Cell wall is the unique feature which is observed in plant cells. The main difference between the plant cell and the animal cell is the cell wall. The plant cell consists of a cell wall outside of the cell membrane, whereas animal cells do not contain cell wall. Characteristics of cell wall It is tough and is the most important part of the cell. It is a flexible porous layer that provides a definite shape and cell protection. It exchanges substances continuously with other cells during its growth and development. It provides mechanical strength and support to the cell. It has narrow tiny pores called pits and very fine strands of cytoplasm called plasmodesmata. Role of the cell wall in plant cells The plant cells have greater resistivity over surrounding medium when compared to animal cells because the plant cells applies an inward wall pressure to resist the outward pressure exerted by the cell sap. Here, let us perform an activity to observe the nucleus in cheek cells. Click each tab to know more. To observe the nucleus in cheek cells. To perform this experiment, the materials required are a toothpick or ice cream spoon, permanent slide, cover slip, watch glass, needle, blotting paper, 1% methylene blue, glycerin, microscope, etc. Precautions Do not scrape the cheek too hard because it may injure you. Scrapped material should be spread uniformly on the slide. See that there should not be any air bubbles under the cover slip.
excess stains should be drained off on the permanent slide. Take a permanent slide and add few drops of methylene blue on it. Now take a toothpick in such a way that the flat end should be placed inside the mouth. Now put the toothpick inside the mouth and move the pick up and down for 12 times by sweeping agonist to the cheek. Remove the toothpick from the mouth and place it on the dye and spread the toothpick in the dye to enable our cheek cells to spread out. Remove the toothpick from the dye and cover it with a cover slip. Tap the needle on the cover slip to spread the cells. Place the permanent slide mount under the microscope. Observe the permanent slide under the low and high power of the microscope. Note the observations in your book. It is observed that the shapes of the cheek cells are irregular. It is observed that each cheek cell has a dark colored border. It is observed that dark colored spherical and oval shaped structures are present near the center of the cell. The dark colored outer edge of cheek cells is called cell membrane. The dark blue color inside the cell membrane is called cytoplasm. Dark colored spherical and oval shaped structures near the center of the cell is called nucleus. Nucleus is named by Robert Brown in the year 1831. Nucleus is the most important organelles of the cell. It is also termed as the cell's control room. Nucleus is the largest and is different from all the cell organelles. Schleden, who proposed the cell theory, thought that new cells were created from the nucleus called cytoblast. Functions of Nucleus Nucleus regulates and controls all the functions of the cell. It determines the characteristics of an organism. It consists of all the genetic information. It is involved in the process of cell division. The nuclear membrane encloses the nucleus and separates it from its contents of cytoplasm. Nuclear membrane is similar to the cell membrane. Cells are categorized into types based on the presence or absence of the organized nucleus. They are eukaryotic cells, organized nucleus and prokaryotic cells without organized nucleus. Eukaryotic cells Eukaryotic cells contain a membrane-bounded nucleus. Almost all the eukaryotic cells have a nucleus. Red blood cells in some mammals and phloem sieve tubes in plants contain nuclei in the beginning and later thrown out of the cells and destroyed. Prokaryotic cells Prokaryotic cells Cytoplasm In cells, the space between the plasma membrane and nucleus is called cytoplasm. It consists of various inorganic molecules like water, salts, proteins, nucleic acids, organic compounds and different kinds of enzymes. Cytoplasm is made up of various cell organelles. These cell organelles are bounded by a plasma membrane. Each of these cell organelles perform a particular function for the cell. We have already learned that eukaryotes have membrane-bounded cell organelles, whereas prokaryotes do not contain membrane-bounded cell organelles, except membrane-less ribosomes. Functions of the cytoplasm it helps in the exchange of materials between cell organelles. Breaking down of nucleus takes place in cytoplasm. 
It helps in intracellular distribution of molecules, enzymes and nutrients within the cell. Biosynthesis of proteins, fatty acids and nucleotides takes place in cytoplasm. Cytoplasm which indicates life fluid. But after the invention else, thus it is understood that life resides inside and the outside of the nucleus is different. Hence, protoplasm is renamed as cytoplasm, which is a cell fluid. The fluid present inside the nucleus is named as nuclear fluid or nucleoplasm. Now, let us learn about the important cell organelles in plant cell. Cell organelles perform an important function in the cell. There are many cell organelles that are found in cytoplasm of the cell. They are endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, lysosome, mitochondria, ribosomes, plastids, vacuole. Click each tab to know more. Endoplasmic reticulum When a cell is absorbed under an electron microscope, a network of membranes appear throughout the cytoplasm called endoplasmic reticulum, ER. This network creates passages in the cytoplasm to transport the substances from one part of the cell to other. The structure of ER membrane is similar to the plasma membrane. There are two types of endoplasmic reticulum. Rough endoplasmic reticulum, smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Rough endoplasmic reticulum. Some granules like structures are present on the surface of endoplasmic reticulum called ribosomes. Ribosomes play an important role in protein synthesis. This type of parts is called as the rough endoplasmic reticulum or ER. Proteins are manufactured in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum. If the parts or sections of endoplasmic reticulum do not contain ribosomes, then it is said to be smooth endoplasmic reticulum SER. SER helps in the synthesis of lipids, fat molecules, which are important for cell function. These synthesized proteins and lipids are sent to various parts in the cell based on the need through endoplasmic reticulum. Some of these proteins and lipids help in building the cell membrane. Functions of endoplasmic reticulum It serves as a channel and helps in transporting of materials between different regions of cytoplasm or between cytoplasm and nucleus. It acts as a cytoplasmic framework and provides surface area for various biogeochemical activities. In the liver cells of vertebrate, smooth endoplasmic reticulum helps in detoxifying many poisons and drugs. The membranes of endoplasmic reticulum are made up of number of enzymes for various metabolic activities and cytochromes that take place in electron transport. In the year 1898, Camillo Golgi discovered this structure can be observed only under an electron microscope. Golgi apparatus Golgi body or Golgi apparatus in the year 1898, Camillo Golgi discovered this organelle by using a compound microscope. But its finer structure can be observed only under an electron microscope. Golgi apparatus is made up of several membrane-bound vesicles that are arranged parallel to each other in stacks called as cisterns. The proteins and other substances that are produced in the ribosomes reach the Golgi body through these vesicles. The distinct components that are visible in the Golgi complex are flattened sacs or cisternae, 
clusters of tubules and vesicles. Large vesicles or vacuoles. The Golgi apparatus has convex forming phase and concave maturing phase. The convex forming phase receives vesicles from endoplasmic reticulum and the concave maturing phase produces secretory vesicles and lysosomes. The number of Golgi bodies varies from cell to cell. The number of Golgi apparatus are large in cells that secrete hormones and enzymes. Functions of Golgi apparatus Golgi apparatus helps in secretion of mucus, enzymes and hormones. It helps in storage, packaging and modification of secretory products in vesicles. It helps in the manufacturing of complex sugars from simple sugars. It helps in the formation of lysosomes. Now, let us learn about lysosome. Lysosome Lysosomes are membrane-bound sacs that are filled with digestive enzymes. These enzymes are made up of rough endoplasmic reticulum or ER. Lysosomes have a resistant covering membrane that protects the cell from digestive enzymes. Lysosomes help in the disposal of the wastage from the cell. Lysosomes maintain the cell clean by removing the worn out materials and digesting the foreign or bacteria materials. Lysosomes contain destructive enzymes. If any bacteria enter the cell, Lysosomes break them into small pieces. This is because the enzymes released by lysosomes are very powerful. Suppose, if the cell gets damaged, lysosomes burst and release an enzyme which digests their own cell. Hence, lysosomes are called suicidal bags of the cell. Functions of lysosomes Lysosomes help in intracellular digestion. Lysosomes bring about cellular breakdown and are associated with aging. They provide energy during starvation. Mitochondria Mitochondria is called as the powerhouse of the cell. Mitochondria is a membrane-bound organelle present in almost all the eukaryotic cells. These organelles act like a digestive system which takes in nutrients, breaks them down and creates energy-rich molecules for the cell. The biochemical processes of the cell are known as cellular respiration. Now, let us learn about other important organelle ribosomes Ribosomes are small granule-like structures present in the cytoplasm of the cell. Ribosomes are present in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes except in mature sperms and RBCs. In eukaryotic cells, ribosomes occur freely in the cytoplasm as well as attach it to the outer surface of the rough endoplasmic reticulum. In case of prokaryotic cells, Ribosomes are found floating freely in cytoplasm. Functions of Ribosomes Ribosomes help in protein synthesis of the cell. Hence, they are termed as protein factories of the cell. Plastids Plastids are cell organelles that are present only in plant cells. Plastids consist of various membrane layers that are present inside a material called stroma. From external view, plastids are similar to mitochondria. Plastids are of three types. They are 
chloroplasts, chromoplasts, leucoplasts. Chloroplasts, the primary function of chloroplasts is to trap energy from sunlight and transform it into chemical energy. This helps in carrying the process of photosynthesis. Each chloroplast is covered by a double-layered unit membrane. The inner membrane of chloroplast is made up of matrix or stroma and disc-like bodies called grana. Vacuole Vacuoles are the storage bubbles found in the cells. It is a membrane-bound organelle found in both animal, bacterial, fungal and plant cells but are much larger in plant cells. Vacuoles might store food or any variety of nutrients a cell might need to survive. They can even store waste products. Here, let us perform an activity to observe mitochondria in onion peel. Click each tab to know more. Take an onion and remove the peel. Prepare a solution of Janus Green B, basic dye used to stain mitochondria in a beaker by mixing 200 mg of Janus Green B in 100 ml of water. Take a permanent slide and a cover slip. Place the onion peel on the permanent slide. Now pour the Janus Green B solution on the peel and keep it aside for 5 minutes. Now, place the cover slip on the permanent slide. Remove the air bubbles by pressing on the cover slip. Place the permanent slide mount under a microscope. Now, observe the slide under the high magnification microscope. A ball-like structure is absorbed at the center of the cell wall. Green oval-shaped or cylindrical grains are absorbed inside the cytoplasm. The ball-like structure at the center of the cell wall is called nucleus. The green oval-shaped or cylindrical grains present inside the cytoplasm are called mitochondria. Mitochondria are small, spherical and cylindrical organelles. Generally, mitochondria is about 2 to 8 micron long and about 0.5 micron wide. The size of the mitochondria is 150 times smaller than the nucleus. In each cell, there are about 100 to 150 mitochondria. When the cell is absorbed under compound microscope, the mitochondria appear as oval or cylindrical dots in the cell. When the cell is absorbed under electron microscope, it is observed that the mitochondria are covered by a double membrane wall. The outer membrane of mitochondria is smooth and porous while the inner membrane has folds termed as cristae. The space present between cristae is called matrix. The matrix contains lipids, proteins, ribosomes, and circular DNA. Functions of mitochondria Synthesis of various amino acids occurs in mitochondria. They provide important intermediates for synthesis of biochemicals like chlorophyll, steroids, cytochromes, etc. Mitochondria can prepare some of their own proteins. Mitochondria are responsible for cellular respiration. Because of this, mitochondria are called the powerhouse of the cell. Here, let us perform an activity to observe the chloroplast in real leaf. Click each tab to know more. Take a real leaf and break it to take out a peel. Place this peel on a slide and put a drop of water on it. 
Next, cover it with a cover slip. Place the slide mount under microscope and observe it. Small green colored granules are observed from microscope. The green colored granules are called chloroplasts. Chloroplasts mainly contain green colored substances called chlorophyll. Here, let us perform an activity to observe chloroplast in algae. Click each tab to know more. Collect some water from a lake or pond which appears dark green in color and contains filamentous structures. Next, separate thin filaments. Take a permanent slide. Place few filaments on a slide and cover it with a cover slip. Now, observe the slide under compound microscope. Large numbers of lighter-shaped structures are observed from microscope. The large numbers of lighter-shaped structures are called chloroplasts. Chloroplast is a type of plastids present in green color. Chloroplasts are of different shapes such as disc, oval, etc. In algae, these can be found as letters, stars, spirals, or reticulate. The diameter of the chloroplasts varies depending upon the heights of the plants. In higher plants, the diameter varies between 4 to 10 microns. Here, let us perform an activity to observe the vacuoles in cactus leaf. Click each tab to know more. Take a leaf or stem of any moist plants like torch cactus. Take a thin cross section of stem of cactus. Take a watch glass and add few drops of water in it. Now, place the cross section of cactus in a watch glass. Add few drops of dilute saffron in solution on it. With the help of forceps, place the cross section of cactus from watch glass onto the slide and cover it with a cover slip. Now place the slide under microscope. Observe it under low and high power. Large empty spaces are observed in the cells when viewed from microscope. The large empty spaces present in the cells are called vacuoles. These vacuoles are fluid-filled sac-like structures present in animal cells and plant cells. In animal cells, vacuoles are small in size when compared to plant cells. In case of matured plant cells, the vacuoles occupy almost the entire cell space. Now, let us know the definite shape of the cells. Generally, when the cells are observed under microscope, they appear as flat and two-dimensional. But in reality, the cells have length, breadth and thickness. As we cannot see the thickness of the cells under microscope, we think that these are flat objects. We can observe the thickness of the cells by following few easy methods. They are Slightly change the focus of the microscope while viewing plant cells on the slide and look at the cell wall. Then we are able to observe the thickness of the wall. Reduce the intensity of the light 
to observe the image clearly. Easiest way is by changing the focus while viewing plant cells. Now, let us learn about the origin of cells. From the various points of this chapter, it is clear that all the living organisms contain cells and each cell has a nucleus. The scientist Matthias Jacob Schleden, a famous zoologist, and Theodor Squan, a famous botanist, were the first to claim that this fact was true for the entire plant and animal kingdom. Schleden and Squan together formulated the cell theory. But an important point to be noted is that the cell theory was formulated after a gap of 200 years after Robert Hooke observed the cells. But this theory could not explain how the new cells were formed. In the year 1855, Rudolf Karl Virchow explained that new cells could be formed only by the division of pre-existing cells. He modified the hypothesis of Skleden and Squan to give cell theory a final shape. The cell theory today is based on two principles. All living organisms contain cells and each cell is made up of nucleus. All cells originate from pre-existing cells. Follow-up work Take up the following activities. Prepare a model of plant or animal cell with locally available materials. Observe the mitochondria by taking leaves of a cassiotora or cheek cells. Prepare a temporary mount of any leaf peel and observe the stomata under a microscope and draw their picture. Read the chapter carefully and collect the information about different cell organelles and their functions. Mention them in a table. Look at the cartoon of a cell given in the image and find out the functions of the cell organelles. Drawing skills This section helps you to sketch images in a step-by-step -step manner. Click each tab to know more.
test your understanding you have successfully completed the chapter cell its structure and functions